guys welcome back to your favorite channel where we bring you trending and interesting news from around the world please kindly subscribe to this channel hit the bell icon as well so you can get notification whenever we post new stories thank you the federal government has frowned on the statement issued by the united states and the united kingdom on the governorship elections holding in edo state on saturday that is today and undo state on october 10 2020 it also expressed concern over the visa restrictions imposed by the United States on unnamed politicians for their alleged involvement in electoral violence during the Kogi and Bayelsa state's governorship polls. Both the United States and the UK had vowed to impose sanctions on anyone who perpetrated violence during the Edo and Ondo elections, including imposing visa restrictions and blocking them from accessing their assets and prosecuting them under international law. But reacting to the comments of its Western allies on Friday, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs in a statement said it had taken note of their concerns regarding the elections in Edo and Ondo states. The government explained that the president Muhammadu Buhari explained that the president, the president Major General Muhammadu Buhari retired has continually urged all parties and contestants to peacefully conduct themselves before, during and after the elections. The statement signed by the ministry's spokesman Ferdinand Onye added that Buhari also supported patriotic non-governmental inactivities, sorry, initiatives such as the Abdusalami Abubakar Peace Committee. Furthermore, it explained that there were ample provisions in the nation's laws to sanction violators and perpetrators of electoral violence and fraud. However, it admonished the UK and the US to cooperate with relevant agencies by providing them with concrete evidence of observed misconduct to allow our laws and regulations to take their course. The statement added, it would be considered disrespectful of any sovereignty of Nigeria for any outside authority to sit in judgment over the conduct of our citizens and apply punitive measures such as visa restriction unilaterally. The federal government further highlighted that the irresponsibility for the conduct of elections in Nigeria solely resides with the Independent National Electoral Commission and state independent electoral commissions. The federal government and especially the president is committed to providing all necessary logistics financial and security support to the electoral process. While we appreciate the support and encouragement of our international partners, such as the European Union, we urge our equally valued partners, such as the UK and the US, to cooperate with our relevant agencies by providing them with whatever concrete evidence of observed misconduct to allow our laws and regulations to take their course, the government stated. Finally, the government expressed solidarity with the American government and people as regards their forthcoming election, which we hope will be free from interference and violence. All right, guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story as it were? Well, it is what it is. The fact remains that if Nigeria has done their own homework well, they would, we would not need the United States and the UK and other countries to... So, in a democratic situation or country like Nigeria, where we have all these um, people, all these uh, agencies, the INEC, the police, the, um, the army, and all other agencies, uh, even put the anti-corruption agencies like we have, the ICPC, the EFCC, and others. They have jobs to do, but they don't do them. And at the same time, it's as if the federal government, you know, 
is using those agencies to carry out their biddings. So election in Nigeria over time has gone to the highest bidder, not the choice of the people. Electoral violences, electoral malpractices, issue of vote buying and all other things have, you know, over time taken over our electoral, our electioneering. During campaigns, you see, uh, you know, there is nothing like issue-based campaign. But we have campaigns where people, you know, people have been maligned. You know, people's, uh, at, uh, people, people have, been, have been lied on and all so many other things like we have witnessed in so many elections, especially this Edo state election. So how do you think that we will be able to achieve greater things or better things in this country? No. So it is important and it is imperative that our institutions, you know, stand independently and do their jobs the way they ought to be done. If they do these things, other countries would not be coming in to take the, those actions that they are taking. Now that the, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs is complaining that other countries are interfering in our, in our, in our activities and taking punitive measures. Yes, it is because we have failed in our duties to carry out the, the, necessary, uh, um, uh, the necessary actions that we ought to take. And they cannot fold their hands and watch things go, you know, the way it is going in this country. Nepotism is, is on the high in this country. The president does not even uh, listen to court orders, does not obey court orders. He only obeys the ones that favor him or the ones that he wish to. People, you know, carry out impunity at wish. The federal government is seen as using... Uh, uh, the, the, the security agencies to their own advantage and to the advantage of whichever party is in power. All these are not the dividends of democracy. This is not what we, 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 we actually desire in this nation. How do we get the better or how do we get the, the dividends of democracy if things are carried out at dawn like this? So these are some of the issues that is going on that we really, really need to uh, address. If only the uh, electoral reform bill that has been sent to the president was signed, there are a lot of things that we won't be talking about today. No country is perfect. No country has it well as it is. But there are some things that can be reduced. Look at the number of people that have been sent to the early grave as a result of electoral violences and some other uh, issues like that. All those could have been avoided. All those could have been put aside. If only we were able to handle these issues properly. So you can see that the leadership of this country has failed Nigerians so much. The leadership of this country has failed Nigerians. The leadership of this country has continued to fail. Look at the issue of the economy. Where are we today? Nigeria was one of the top three growing, fastest growing economy in 2015. But today, where are we? Propaganda has taken over this administration. People criticize the government and they are invited by the DSS. Freedom of speech has been killed. Freedom of expression, intimidation everywhere using security agencies. People are not free to express their opinion. People are not free to sp say what they feel or what they know or what they have even heard without the fear and the threat of security agents. So these are some of the vices that needs to be dealt with. These are some of the issues that needs to be handled. So guys, it is sad and unfortunate. I stand to be corrected if I am wrong. But guys, we are not going to get anywhere close to where we want to be if things continue this way. So I think it is a very, very good step that the United States and the UK and other countries are taking these punitive measures against election offenders and against our politicians. Politics should not be seen as a do or die affair. Politics should not be seen as a do-or-die affair in this part of the country at this age and this time in this country. So, guys, it is what it is. What are your thoughts concerning these particular news stories, as it were? What do you think? Kindly drop by at the comment section let us know what your thoughts are. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Please, hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support, and I'll see you on the other news. Thank you, and bye for now.